Hi there everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to part 7 of the making of violent factions. Hope you're all doing well and yeah, you guys are probably wondering like, what am I doing? Where am I? Well, to be fair, I'm underneath this platform. Yes, I have been working here a little bit. Um, as you guys can see, this is that uh, circle section that I had here and yeah, now I've got a beacon in the middle and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do right here. I'm currently just marking out kind of like the location for the dropping system and all the red sandy bits to go and kind of take it from there. And then I'm also currently working on figuring out the size for the flag system and what I need to kind of have. Alright, so currently only these three item sorters have things in them. Um, currently I've got redstone comparators, redstone torches and hoppers in here. So here's my water streams. Um, as you guys can see, I have packed ice with a pressure plate on it and then three hoppers over and another one, three hoppers over and another one and then I have this corner bend and then another packed ice with three hoppers packed ice and so it will continue for another three sets. So that's pretty much the idea that I'm going for around these corners and these bends um, just so that I can keep the consistency with the water flowing and all those kind of stuff. Now let's say for instance I place or I drop my redstone torch in there and then that one will give its output. Now what I'll have here um, in that sense would be a piston or something perhaps pushing the block into position to um, power this light. I could have piston pushing an iron block in there to power my beacons. So that's that's kind of the idea that I'm going for. I'm not sure if I'd like to have these redstone torches in here, um, kind of just in the floor as well, because at least in that sense people will be able to see. Oh, okay, so they got so many. So it's a visual thing for when you are here in the center, but also you do have the beacons there on the outside. So. I'm still playing around with the idea. I decided to build along this section just to see how big I would need and interestingly enough I came to about I think it's 15 blocks, uh, 7 blocks on that side, 7 blocks on that side, talking about every second block plus then the one here in the middle. So let's say for instance I take that and I start placing them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then also another seven in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if I pretty much need to take it out in all directions, as you guys might remember, I initially started off with five, four, three, two, one, one, one. This is just outside of the circle. So I think it's pretty cool. Then it falls in right here, which would be directly diagonal from there. And that would then be this last part right here which is pretty cool because it gives me this whole square shape underneath that I can do the placement. So I guess I just need to start getting to work and figure out what exactly I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it and kind of take it from there. But for now, I first need to open up all the area underneath here, make a nice open space and then get this bad boy in there. So yeah, I will be back as soon as that's done. Okay, so I spent some time opening up this area right here and it's huge. Seven layers deep and it's completely the outer ring segment of the circle we had and yeah, it's huge. Kind of just moved the beacon a little bit lower so that I can still see that where the center point is as soon as I start building it. Alright, so that is pretty much where this big thing is going to end up. But yeah, let's start constructing it and see how it goes. But I think for the construction phase, I'm gonna do a time lapse. So I hope you guys enjoy. I can't get, it's murder. 
Berserker. Go crazy, Berserker. I killed it, it's murder. Go crazy, Berserker. guys um so this is pretty much it i'm done so far um all i need to do now is i just need to take each of these hoppers and put whatever i need to put into them into them and get the sorting systems sorted out but this is it it is done so i'm really happy about that i have another idea right here this is pretty interesting um, and the fact that it actually fits in this footprint is pretty awesome so who knows maybe some other ideas could come to play here so what happens is I swapped out the repeaters for a piston and let's say for instance an item goes into that chest boom this beacon goes on so all of the ch chests as soon as they get their items Boom, beacons goes on. So that is an idea I'm playing with. Um, whether or not that is exactly what I'm going to go for, I'm not too sure yet, but it is an option, which is a good thing. I will continue to work on some ideas and stuff, but I really do think this is another option to go with. So um, yeah, I'll work with some other ideas and stuff and see what I come up with and show you guys but unfortunately that will be all for today guys i really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you have any more ideas please let me know in the comments down below but other than that i hope you have yourselves a fantastic day further until the next episode cheers Control.